Hi guys, welcome back. So today's video is my February BoxyCharm unboxing. There are so many good goodies in this month's box. <laughs> good goodies. If you want to see the products that I used on my face, then let's just get right into this. So the first thing that I see in the box is this brush set. So this is from the brand um, Crown, and this is just their three-piece bro... <laughs> I said bro, pro brush set, and they look like this, they're really cute, they have like a little pink top, so let's go ahead and open these up and see what they feel like. So this brush set retails for $29.99, so technically $30, and you get three, so right off the bat, they feel really, really soft. This is to conceal imperfections and highlight underneath the eyes, oops. I'm guessing like concealer, uh, didn't read that, my bad guys. And then this is the medium sized brush and this is for sculpting the cheekbones and perimeter of the face. So maybe like contour, that seems kind of small though. So maybe I'll use this for blush. And then this is their large powder brush and it can be used to set everything in place. Well. <laughs> We're just going to use these for what I want because I thought this was a bronzer brush, I thought this was a blush brush, and I thought this was an eyeshadow brush. I was completely wrong. Um, this is supposed to be like to set your face, but I already set my entire face, so we're just going to use this for whatever we want. Technically, you can use brushes for whatever you want, um, as long as, I mean, you like it, like the size of it and stuff, so... That's what we're going to use this brush for. So to bronze the face, I'm going to use the large crown brush. And I think I'm going to use the Marc Jacobs Omega Bronzer in Tantastic. I haven't whipped this out in forever. So we're just going to dip this brush into here a few times, coat it a little bit. So it does pick up a lot of product, so we're going to, you know. Okay. And then let's sculpt these cheekbones and this forehead and this jaw. <laughs> So far, I actually really like this brush. Um, it blended everything really beautifully. Um, I don't know. It just feels really soft. It's really easy. It doesn't tug at your skin at all. So I'm actually really impressed with this brush. So let me go do the other side really quickly. I kind of want to try something out. I do want to contour my nose with this tiny brush. Seems like the perfect size and it's a little like fluffy. So maybe that's what I'll use for this brush. So I'm just dipping into that same bronzer. And let's see. It does pick up product very nicely. Let's see if we can contour this nose a little bit. I was going to try and use this as an eyeshadow brush, which I still might. Just for like a transition or um, to like spread out glitters. I'm not really sure yet. Actually, I like that to contour the nose. I don't like a harsh contour anymore. I just like a little something something, you know? So I actually am really impressed with this brush set so far. So now on to blush. I did receive blush in the palette. So I received this Ofra Mini Pop-Up palette so this is like a magnetic palette that just opens up like this and it's magnetic in here so anything that has like metal on the back of it will stick in here if you want to take like the pans out of the packaging which I actually don't have one of these and I'm so excited that I have one now it's so cute I love how you can see through it right here too to see like what's on what side and then they did send over a blush so this is their blush Gadat refill so this is like I don't know a blush thing blush winter rose kit use in palettes and kits let's open it up looks like that it's a really really pretty color and then it comes like this and then you can take the pan out so that's like the size of the pan next to my eye it's a pretty decent size voila there's your blush that's so exciting oh my goodness so I am going to use this little brush for blush. I guess you could use it for highlighter too. Dip in a few times. 
This magnetic palette retails for $19, and then the blush itself retails for $12, so that's a pretty decent price, honestly. This is kind of hard to apply blush with because it's really stiff. So actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna scratch that. That's actually not a good blush brush. You need a brush that's a little more fluffy that you can just blend it into the skin. This is a really pretty color blush. Oh my goodness, I'm actually obsessed with it right now. I actually really like this Ofra blush. I'm actually obsessed with this. This is probably like my favorite thing in the box so far. So next up is let's apply highlighter. Actually, duh. This brush is very compact, so it's going to apply a lot of product all at once. So if you want to use this for like highlighter, I would definitely go in with the lightest hand. You literally don't need any product whatsoever. But it pretty much works. It kind of left a streak. Try to blend that out, but I mean it looks pretty darn good to be honest. I actually really like this set of three so far. Um, I'm actually really impressed and I'm excited to use these more in the future. Next up is this Cover FX Shimmer Veil. So this is what the box looks like. Who cares about the box? And this is the color. It's more of like a pink iridescent in a way. It looks a little bit of a purple. Not really sure, but... Um, I think you are supposed to, technically this is a multi-use shimmering cream and they're supposed to be crease proof, so pretty much you just apply it on your eye. So that's really cool. So that's that color right there. It's very pigmented and very reflective, but I just don't know if I'm going to wear this color like on a day-to-day -day basis just because it's purple. And technically, I don't really wear purple eyeshadow, purple shimmers, but we will give it a try for the sake of this video. I'm going to do a very simple, natural eye, and then I think I'm just going to pop on some lashes just to get a little extra oomph. And pretty much, we're just going to apply this from the inner corner to like mid-lid where it reaches that darker shade. And we're just going to go in with the applicator. I want to see how well this works. Wow. What do you guys think? You like it? I think it's really different and really out of my comfort zone, but I actually kind of like it. It's kind of cute. Hmm. That retails for $28. Dollars, so that's kind of expensive for something to just put on your eyes. Honestly, I think it's worth the money just because it's not creasing and it dries pretty fast. And the applicator is really easy to use with applying the product, so it's actually a really good product. So next thing is this vintage um, smoky eye pencil. So it looks like this. It's just like a black eyeliner, I guess. You know what, I hate these though, because honestly, I don't want to sharpen my pencils. I'm really lazy. I don't want to have to do this extra step. I want a retractable. And this retails for, let's see, let's see, $21. Mm, I don't want to apply anything on my bottom lashes. Like, I don't want to do black just because this eye is so bright and pretty. So I'm just going to smudge this along my top lash line. So, like, my falsies blend a little bit more. Then I'm going to take a small little pencil brush and smudge this out. Okay, that's much better. So I actually really like that black pencil. Um, it's really black, opaque, really easy to apply, and it just seems really nice. So I'm actually really impressed with this, but is it worth $21? I don't know. So the last thing in the box I see is this Pure Plumping Lip Exfoliator. And this retails for $17. So 
looks like this. It's like a clear little tube, like lip balm kind of. Let's see what it's supposed to do. With an instant boost of shea butter, raw sugar, and exfoliating beads, this 4-in-1 lip scrub pencil exfoliates, plumps, hydrates, and smooths. Let's test it out. Ooh. It's got a little bit of a grit to it. You can feel it. Huh. That's cool. It just feels like sugar that you're like rubbing against your lips. I don't know how many times you just have to rub it against it. But see, it's kind of like a sugar scrub in a lip balm. Tastes pretty good too. I wonder if you can eat this. Honestly, it just feels like I just did a lip scrub. I mean, they do feel exfoliated. They feel kind of soft, but they're not like really, really, really hydrated. They're still a little bit dry, but I think they feel and look a little bit better. Not like the best thing in the world. And that retails for $17. So that's a little bit expensive. I feel like a lip scrub does the same exact thing and then you put a lip balm on top and then your lips are like brand new so mm, I don't know not really impressed with that one I mean it was cool that's like in the stick if you don't like dipping your finger into lip scrubs and rubbing them on so that is all the things in my boxy charm I'm just gonna go apply some falsies add some mascara and add a lip and I'll be right back to show you guys the finished product and yeah Okay guys, and this is the completed look. So I honestly think I like everything in the box. Um, some things I don't think were worth the price tag, but honestly I think I really enjoy everything. The brushes were really soft, really nice to blend out bronzer, blush, highlight, and everything else. So I'm actually really impressed with the brushes. What else? Um, this Shimmer Val thing from Cover FX is gorgeous. It's very reflective. Um, it hasn't cracked at all. It just seems really pretty. I would love to pick up more of like a gold champagne color if they do have that color just because that's easier to wear for me because I don't really go for colors like this. This eye pencil I actually really do like. It's very opaque. It's very black and it's easy to smudge out if you want. So I really like this as well. And this little palette from Ofra. I think this blush is so perfect. It's like so cute. It's just that perfect nude rosy blush if that's what you're into. And I actually really like this magnetic palette because you can see through it. So yeah, I think that was it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And last thing was this little lip exfoliating thing. And... I mean, I don't technically think it's worth the price tag, but if you do, like, a lip scrub in, like, one of these tubes, then I would definitely recommend this. So, yeah, that was everything that I received in my BoxyCharm for this month. Let me add up the total really quickly. So the total price of this month's BoxyCharm was $127. That's crazy. That is a huge steal. So yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed February's BoxyCharm unboxing. I'm sorry this came to you a little later in the month. I hope you guys like this little new setup. I think it's so cute. Look how cute that little thing is in the background, right? It's like a little tree and it's so cute. Before you leave, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye loves.